Hey everybody, welcome back. This lesson is about magnification distortion. Magnification distortion within x-ray imaging describes the phenomenon of the size difference between the actual anatomy and the size of its representation on a radiograph. Size distortion is important to understand as it makes anatomy seem much larger than it actually is and can lead to misdiagnosis. For example, size distortion may make the heart shadow within a chest radiograph seem larger than it actually is, which could result in a false diagnosis of cardiomegaly. It's important to understand that there will always be some degree of magnification present within a radiograph due to the divergent nature of the x-ray beam. So why does magnification occur in radiography? Magnification is the inevitable consequence of the divergent beam. The x-ray beam is spreading apart as it travels through space. As the beam passes by anatomical objects, it continues to diverge as it approaches the image receptor. As a result, the shadow of the object is larger than the object itself. The amount of magnification occurring in the image depends on the geometric factors used to create the image. The factors controlling magnification distortion are the source to image distance, or SID, which refers to the distance from the x-ray tube to the image receptor. It's also influenced by the object to image distance, or OID, which is the distance from the target anatomy to the image receptor. And finally, magnification distortion is influenced by the SOD, the source to object distance, which describes the distance between the source of the x-ray beam and the anatomy being imaged. These different factors can be visualized by making shadow puppets with your hand on a wall using a flashlight. The closer the light source comes to your hand, the more its shadow grows as the beam spreads out. If you move the light back, then the shadow appears smaller. This is just like changing the SID. If the light source is stationary, but you move your hand closer to the wall, the shadow shrinks. Increase the distance between your hand and the wall, and then the shadow enlarges. This is exactly like changing the OID. The relationship between the source to image distance and magnification is such that as the x-ray tube moves closer to the image receptor, this causes the anatomy to interact with more divergent photons and the image magnification increases. When SID increases, that is, the tube moves farther away from the image receptor, the divergence of the beam is less extreme and magnification decreases. The relationship between the object to image distance, that's the OID, and magnification is such that as the distance between the target anatomy and the image receptor decreases, there is less room for the beam to diverge prior to striking the receptor and magnification decreases. But when the OID increases, there's more distance for the x-ray beam to diverge before striking the image receptor and therefore magnification increases. Finally, the relationship between magnification and the source to object distance, or SOD, is such that as the SOD increases when the x-ray tube moves farther away from the patient, magnification decreases. And when the x-ray tube moves closer, decreasing the SOD, magnification increases. We can quantify the amount of magnification using the magnification factor formula. The magnification factor, or MF, equals the image size divided by the object size. Magnification factor is also equal to the SID divided by the SOD. So what does the magnification factor tell us? It tells us how much bigger the image of an object is compared to the actual size of the object. For example, if the magnification factor is 1.5, the image is 1.5 times larger than the actual object. There are a few ways that the magnification factor can be used. Most importantly, we can use the magnification factor to calculate the actual size of an object based on the imaged size of the object on the radiograph. The formula looks like this. 
the object size, in other words, that's the actual anatomy, is equal to the image size, that's the radiographic appearance of the anatomy, divided by the magnification factor. Here's a scenario that uses this formula. An exposure is made of the chest using five mass, 120 kvp, a 4-inch OID, a 75-inch SID, and a 0.6 millimeter focal spot size. If the image of the heart measures 12 centimeters, what is the actual width of the heart? There's a lot of extra information in here that we don't need. Remember, the object size, that's the actual anatomy, is just equal to the image size divided by the magnification factor. We know the image size, that's 12 centimeters, but we need to calculate the magnification factor in order to use this formula. The magnification factor is equal to the SID divided by the SOD. Well, we have the SID, that's 75 inches, but we'll need to calculate the SOD. The SOD is equal to 75, that's the SID, minus four, that's the OID, which equals 71 inches. So the magnification factor is equal to 75 divided by 71, which equals 1.056. This makes sense. The magnification factor is always going to be larger than one because the radiographic appearance is always larger than the actual anatomy. We can take this number now and insert it into the formula for calculating the object size. The object size, that's the actual anatomy, is equal to 12 centimeters, that's the image size, divided by 1.056, that's the magnification factor, which equals 11.36 centimeters. In summary, some magnification distortion always exists on radiographic images, and it's dictated by the divergent nature of the x-ray beam. When the anatomy interacts with more of the photons towards the center of the beam, magnification decreases. But when anatomy interacts more with photons on the divergent edges of the beam, magnification increases. The factors affecting magnification are the SID, OID, and SOD. And magnification is determined by the magnification factor formula. If you enjoyed this video, I encourage you to visit CloverLearning.com and explore our robust selection of video-based courses, certification exam prep question banks, and continuing education resources. Lastly, please remember to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can stay up to date on our latest videos.